In this tutorial, I will guide you through the fundamentals of routing in Angular. You can find the GitHub repository for the final project linked in the description below. To begin, let's create a new Angular 17 app using the CLI. Following that, we'll generate three components, home, class, and subclass. The first thing we will do is to remove all the example code from the app template. We then add in a div with a class. This div will represent non-changing content in this demo, like a menu or a sidebar. Under this div, we will add the router outlet. This is a placeholder, which Angular will fill with content based on the current route. We want the router outlet to show the template of the home component. To do this, we have to add a route to the app.routes.ts file. The value of the pass key is what needs to be added to the URL to display the chosen component. In this case, the home component. So the URL for the first route shown here is localhost 4200 slash home. As you can see, the content of home.component.html is shown where the router outlet is. Let's add the home class so we can distinguish better between the app and the home component. The second route is a redirect from the base URL to the home route. So if I open the base URL, I will be automatically redirected to the home route. A very common task is to show information based on the current route. To do this, we can add data to a route. In this case, I have added a title. To display this title, go to the home component. Here, we can inject and use activated root from Angular Core to retrieve the data. Then, we can use string interpolation to display the data. For the next step, we will add a link to our home component, so that we can return to the home screen once we add more routes. The router link active attribute defines a CSS class, which will be applied when this link is the active route. For this to work, we need to add the active class to our CSS file. And we need to import router link and router link active in the app component. As you can see, the background of home changes because it represents the active route. The usefulness of this feature will become obvious once we add more routes. So let's do that now. The newly added path includes a colon ID part. The colon ID works similar to the title we used on the home route. But instead of predefining a string, we can enter it as part of the URL. For this tutorial, we will always expect a number for the ID. An example of this route would be localhost 4200 slash class slash one. We can access the ID from the URL in almost the same way as we did for the title. But this time we get the ID from the params attribute instead of the data attribute. In this step, I have also added some example classes, which we will display in the class template. As you can see, the class we are displaying matches the class slash one in the URL. I will also add a CSS class for the class's div. And finally, we can add a link to the app template for every entry in the character class array. Now the highlighted link is actually useful, but switching through the links reveals a problem. The content of the classes div is only updated if we navigate from the home route to one of the class routes. Switching from Bart to Cleric only changes the highlighted link. This is because the constructor is only called the first time we navigate to a given route. And the Bart and the Cleric link are actually the same route. To fix this, we can listen to the activation end event and update route ID every time the event occurs. To display subclasses, we can add an array of children to the class route in the app.routes.ts file. Here, I shorten the path to the subclass component to subs, like in subscribe. 
we need to import router outlet, router link and router link active in the class component. After that, we can add a link to the subs route in the class template. Additionally, we add the router outlet, which will only display the content of the subclass template if we are on a slash subs route. You can also use the navigate method of the router to move to a different route. Happy coding!